Looking at the title, you would think this show would have a character named Saul in it, right? Better Call Saul is the spin-off, the prequel spin-off to Breaking Bad. It is created by Vince Gilligan, who created Breaking Bad, as well as also being created by Peter Gould, who wrote the episode that introduced Saul Goodman, episode 15, Better Call Saul. This series is a prequel spin-off, and it's all about the Saul Goodman character, except his name is not Saul in this series yet. You find out right away that Saul Goodman's eventually going to turn out to be a pseudonym, a name he makes up for himself. Which makes sense, because the joke of Saul Goodman has always been, it's all good, man. Bob Odenkirk returns to his role as the charismatic criminal lawyer in Albuquerque, except he's not quite there yet. He's an up-and-coming lawyer when he starts out. He's a public attorney, meaning he's a lawyer for people that can't afford a lawyer. But he wants to do bigger things. He wants to get the big cases and start up a firm of his own and become a big time lawyer that people will respect. It is very much an underdog against the world type story. In the beginning of the series, Jimmy McGill is living with his brother Chuck McGill. Now Chuck McGill used to be a big time lawyer, but he had to take a break due to a major nervous breakdown that caused him to think that he's actually allergic to electromagnetic activity, meaning that he can't go outside because he thinks his body's being affected by electrical wires. Now, obviously, this is not an episode of House, so it's merely just a case of a mental disorder. So, that means Saul's been living in a house without electricity, without stove, without open windows, like he can't even bring his cell phone or his watch inside the house. For a 10-episode season, this season was pretty loaded with story. There wasn't really one singular plot that happened in this season, because in the beginning, Jimmy encounters Tuco Salamanca. Haha, <laughs> yep, there's a Breaking Bad Easter egg right there. Later on, he's dealing with a family that illegally has obtained a lot of money through embezzlement. And then later, he's trying to bring about a class-action lawsuit against a senior citizen's home, for nickel and diming their citizens, for overcharging them a little too much. So there's a lot going on. It's been more about an internal drama. In fact, more than Breaking Bad was about Walter White, this show is all about Jimmy. Very rarely will it show like a scene going on in the background. It's mostly about Jimmy, with the exception of Jonathan Banks' character. That's right. Mike Ehrmantraut is in this show as well. This show, you get to see his origin story of what happened to his career as a cop. This series, Mike starts out as the toll guy for entering the courthouse who gives Jimmy a lot of trouble because he just doesn't have enough stamps to go through without Jimmy having to pay up some money. So they get into an argument, but slowly they're starting to develop a partnership, the kind of partnership that they'll eventually have on Breaking Bad. There are also a few episodes that go into Mike's origin and Mike's story. It seems that Mike has a separate story than Jimmy's in this show. And sometimes it feels like you're watching a separate show. But I don't mind, because I like both characters, and I'd like to see them both in one episode. In my opinion, probably the best episode of this show is episode 6, 5 This one is all about Mike. This is the episode that actually goes into his story, and it's like a dark police cop story. It's pretty cool, very well directed, and just has some great drama in it. I loved it so much. For the most part, this is a lighter-hearted show than Breaking Bad. But that's okay, because that works for the character of Jimmy McGill, a.k.a. Saul Goodman. He's just a lighter-hearted character than Walter White was. So while the show still has the the Breaking Bad feel in its direction, the Vince Gilligan-ness, you start to see a new feeling, a new type of tone come in. Which also makes me wonder about something I read in Entertainment Weekly. There's, it's been said that, it's been rumored, that Vince Gilligan has been lending some of the reins of the series more towards Peter Gould, who sh will serve as the more creative showrunner of this show, with Vince Gilligan just being like, 
I don't know, creative advisor or something, while still retaining an executive producer position, because this is his world. I'm not exactly sure where this show is going, well, except in the end, when he becomes, you know, the greatest criminal lawyer in Albuquerque, Saul Goodman. But that's okay, because I'm excited to see where this series is going to take me. I'm excited to see where this show is going to go. So, with that, I think Better Call Saul had a good debut season. I'm excited to see what happens next. I think it is an excellent follow-up to Breaking Bad. Sometimes I'm watching this, I forget this is a Breaking Bad spinoff. It works well as its own show. And the way it's been going, I trust the writers and the showrunners of this show that they have a plan, somewhat, of where this series is going. This series has already been renewed for a second season. It was renewed before this show even premiered, which will be coming out next year sometime, so I'll be excited to see where this is going then. Until then, thanks for watching my review of Better Call Saul Season 1. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.